Harry, Harry, this is Slur Potato, and this is, uh, what if Naruto was a descendant of Lord Joshi? <laughs> I was thinking of either a descendant of Lord Joshi, or reincarnation, or just Slash. I was thinking about it, and it just threw me off at the time, but I know what I'm doing. Also, I was gonna try, I was gonna do what if Naruto was... Sundo and Mundo's, um, uh, Dojutsu and all that. It's just, I kind of got distracted by so many things today. Like, first of all, I had to go to a store. Then I had to, um, I got very lazy after that. I had to come back. Then I had to go to a park. Then after that, I got back here. And then I just started watching, um, someone that reckon told me about someone's what ifs and all that. Um, I kind of like the guy's what ifs and all that. Let me uh, show you. So this is the guy that I was watching for a while. Like I watched two of his videos. Yeah, it was just these two. I'm still watching more. And I like it. I like his what if Naruto was neglected and was the reincarnation of Tori. I, I don't know how to freaking pronounce. Uh, right now, I just suck at pronouncing things. Um, yeah, so I was just watching this guy's videos, and his name is Infamant K-A-O-S. <laughs> I'm just gonna spell it out for you guys. Infamant K-A-O-S. Uh, yeah, he does good what ifs. I mean, for, yeah, he does good what ifs for a, uh, I guess starter? Did he just start it? Yeah, he started like a week ago. So yeah, go check them out. So yeah, back to my what if after me kind of getting uh, distracted for that. But yeah, that's why I could not rewatch uh, what I was doing yesterday for the whole Sun and Mundo. I mean, I can remember bit to bit, but I have to rewatch so I can actually understand what I was doing. And then I can think of what I'm going to do next. But no, I said this one kind of popped into my mind and I was going to do this for uh, instead... Seven? What if seven was the reincarnation of... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I'm going to do that uh, later on. But this is... What if Naruto was a descendant of Lord Joshin? Now, if you don't know who Lord Joshin is, which I suppose you have not paid attention to Hiran at all, which if you haven't really paid attention to Hiran... Or he really just didn't like Hiran and all that. Because he's sort of. Masochist sort of. Um. Also I want to mention something. The song I'm hearing right now is. What's it called? Um. Obito's song. Uh. Numb. Link's part covered by Dubai Music. Now this. Is one of my favorite songs. And I'm happy that one of. Uh. The anime rapper's uh, music that I usually hear by kind of covered this. Or made a recover, whatever it's called in music, whatever. I'm not afraid. Yeah. <laughs> so if you hear that in the background, you probably will hear it in the background because I love hearing the song. Um, which. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. If you didn't really pay attention to Hiran or. You haven't heard the famous uh, line of Hiran. For Lord Jashin, I will sacrifice all of them. Lord Jashin. <laughs> so yeah, um, basically Jashin is a religion that most like Hiran uh, gets abilities of immortality or something else from Jashin and all that. And um. I'm going to do this in this what if that Joshin was a, uh, what's it called, an Utsutsuki, like right here, who came to the earth before Kaguya and, the, oh, I mean, he was kind of friends with Kaguya for a little bit. Joshin, he was just like sort of more unstable and all that. Now... Lord Joshin kind of wanted to at least have a descendant, but also a cult for his, um, 
for cults and all that. So, of course, a religion cult for himself. And he would give abilities and all that when he died and all that. So, of course, he makes a cult. But before doing that, he actually makes a family first. He meets someone that sort of is like good to him and all that. And he did not want to do the cult at the first time and all that. And didn't want to kill people and all that. But then his wife died and his kid was... He thought he lost his kid. So, of course, he was sad. But, really... Then, Joshin kind of just went in to make his own cult. And the whole Lord Joshin cult kind of happened. And it went down, 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 down. Into, like, Naruto's generation. But, Lord Joshin's kid... Uh, kind of survived into the water. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Which, Lord, which uh, Joshin's son that he had before some people kill his wife and all that, kind of went down the river and actually landed into a village, which that child got raised up and he did not know his abilities or powers, and his bloodline just went new, 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 new into. Minato and Namikaze. So Minato had the bloodline. And it passed down to Naruto. And Naruto has no siblings. But is hated by everyone in the village. Actually. No wait no. He does have a sibling. And his parents did survive. So Minato. He survived. And um. But he still hasn't awoken the whole Joshin ability or anything. No, he did not awaken that. Naruto is born. And of course, his sister, um, Mento, uh, she has the full nine tails when, uh, what's called Obito attacked and all that. The nine tails was sealed into Min uh, Mento. The full nine tails. All of it into Mento. Um, Naruto. Got zero of the nine toes. Now I know someone's gonna ask me in the comments saying, "Why don't you just give him uh instead of giving Minto the four nine toes, give it to Naruto?" You see here, Naruto isn't really gonna need it at all. Like I mean, he's just gonna not need it at all because he's just he is a descendant from Lord Josh and all that. Also Uzumaki and whatever other things. He's not Uchiha, so he's not gonna really have Sharingan. He's not Senju, so he won't have Wood Style. But he will have Joshin's abilities. Now, before you ask me, what are Joshin's abilities? I'ma think of those abilities, and I have like two of them right now in my head. Now, he can also do like similar to Hayden's, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I will talk about those abilities later. But right now it's Naruto. So Naruto is born and of course Minato had to do a decision. So he just thought of blaming all those uh, bad things about the Ninetales onto Naruto. Which Naruto was confused and of course he was hurted his whole life because Minato just could not bring himself to actually tell everyone that Mento was the Nine Tails Chinchuriki. Instead he just blamed it on and lied about the Nine Tails Chinchuriki on Naruto. So of course Naruto's he was not hit or ki uh what's it called not hit to kill. He wasn't beaten up or anything uh, until four years old and then um after that he was lib uh left to live alone and all that. And he got beaten up his so five six seven at seven years old naruto was actually killed by the first time now naruto was stabbed through the heart and naruto just thought he died now of course people just thought oh the nine touch and trick is probably gonna heal him and all that now minato kushina and mento kind of ignore the whole pain of Naruto, because Minato kind of lied to Minato about saying you don't have a brother and all that. 
and uh, ignore that one kid. He's a, he's a demon and all that. So lied about all that thing. Now, Christina's happy she has a girl. And really didn't care if she had a guy or not. So, yeah. Now, go back to Naruto getting stabbed. Naruto got stabbed. And he was about to die. And then, when he was just dying and falling into death's grasp. He was like, <laughs> And, um, before doing that, death kind of felt like a red glow around him. And now, someone appeared right next to death. And he said, hello, Jeff. Or should I say, Shinigami. Shinigami looks at him and says, Joshin, what are you doing here? Joshin said, oh, I'm here for that boy. It looks like, huh. Well, no, he said, oh, I'm just here just to talk around. Seeing if you have any brand new souls for me to torture. Duh, Shinigami says, no, I do not have any new souls. And then Joshin looks at the kid that was right now kind of. Floating right in his hand. And Joshin noticed a strange effect around Naruto. Naruto had this glow, a uh, red glow around him. And, um, it's similar to a uh, red, not red glow, a red aura around him. It's similar to Joshin's red aura. And Joshin says, Wait, Shinigami, who is this boy? And Shinigami says, this boy is Naruto Uzumaki. He died and his bloodlines are... You're probably going to ask what his bloodlines are also. Uzumaki, Namikaze, and Joshin. What the fuck are Joshin? And Joshin was like... Shinigami, that's my descendants. And Shinigami was like, hold up, what? You have family? Wait. I thought you were just a masochist, a psychotic son of a bitch or something. Joshua was like, fuck you. Fuck you, uh, Shinigami. Fuck off. I had a kid. I thought I lost him. I thought he died and all that. And it seems he did have a bloodline. Wow. That's kind of amazing, I guess. Well, time to torture him. Shinigami, uh, Shinigami was like, <laughs> and Joshin kind of grabs Shinigami's arms and kind of tightens him. He says, you dare touch him, I'll rip you apart. And Shinigami is like, right. And Joshin was like, fuck you, I'm a higher ranking bitch. Yeah, whatever. So they're both kind of just like getting angry at each other. And then Joshin was like, wait, Shinigami, can you even torture me? And, uh, stab me or try to even erase me? Shinigami said, yeah, I already tried multiple times and you did not die. Instead, you became a demon or something. High-ranking demon. Like, you are Satan himself. Yeah, the fuck? You touch my fucking descent I'm fucking you up. <laughs> uh, what's come? Uh, Shinigami says, fuck you, you ain't doing shit to me. And, of course, Joshin already grabbed his descendants and kind of looked at him and said, Why? Why is he here in the first place? Shinigami said, Oh, you don't know, but how should I say? Your descendants, he is your descendants, great, great, great descendants, like so many greats. And there's also your other descendants, his father. Um, Joshin said, my, Wait, his father? What do you mean his father? So Shinigami tells Joshin about how much abuse, how much Naruto had to uh, handle, and how much neglection he has from his parents. And Joshin just got so angry, he's like, the fuck do you mean? And, um... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I need water. So, of course, Naruto, he is... Oh, well, not Naruto, I mean Joshin. Naruto still just blanked and blacked out. And when Joshin heard us, he was now enraged. He's like, so you saying my descendants is hurting this boy. But just neglecting him and also telling lies about him being the... Ninetales? What the fuck is that? The Shinigami says the Ninetales is... 
Hey, Chintriki. But remember, just like your friend Kaguya. And yes, uh, Josh and was friends with Kaguya at one point. Before Kaguya even had kids and all that. And, um. Josh was like, so what about her? Shinigami said, okay, I'm gonna have to tell you a very long story. Tells him about the whole thing, what happened to Kaguya, and what our Chinchurikis are. And Joshua said, hmm. So wait, if a Chinchuriki dies, the tail beast doesn't come here. And Shinagami says, yes, it pissed me off, because they don't fucking die, they're like sort of immortal. Hmm. And you're saying Kaguya got stealed away by her own two kids. That's fucking sad. And Shinagami said, yeah, that's really sad. And, um, Josh was like, whatever. So, so that's what it is. And he's getting blamed on for absolute nothing. He's just like, I'm pissed about that. Now, of course, Naruto's dead body in the overworld, because this is just a spirit, he's kind of blanking out and all that. And... Someone found him and actually tried to bring him to the hospital. This person is Makoto Uchiha. Now, she doesn't hate Naruto and she doesn't really care about what he is or whatever. She's just a very kind person. Now, Makoto Uchiha managed to bring Naruto into the hospital. And she did pull out her Sharingans to show everyone that she's in Uchiha. And bringing Naruto into the home. Uh, into the, um, what's it called, hospital to, like, fix him up, but he's in a coma, and he needed blood, a blood transfusion and all that. Now, there's no way, um, they could transfer blood and all that, because they're limited, the freaking doctors were lying on all that, and Mikoto Uchiha just says, you better transfer blood to him, or you will pay the consequences. And then she just does eyes. How about just transfer my blood? And they said, wait, wait, wait. We cannot really do that. We don't know. And Mikoto looks at them, glaring with the shine gun. And they said, okay, ma'am. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, here. So they basically transfer Mikoto's blood into Naruto. And of course, Naruto is just in a coma. And uh, Mikoto is sad. He's like, why? I hope this kid is okay. And just stayed by side him for a while. I thought you had to go home and all that. Now, back into the um, spirit world. Or death from and uh, not death domain or something. Yeah. Now, Shinigami is just talking to Joshin and Joshin just like. <sighs> okay. So, is he fully dead or is he just. Clinging on to death or life. Joshin looks at him and kind of sees that Naruto's spirit is kind of going back. Slowly but surely, just going back. And Shinagami says, It looks like his body is going back. And Joshin says, Hmm. Ah, you know what? I know what to do. Joshin just thought of, like, he just thought of it for a second. He's just like, Hmm, I know what to do. No, Joshi basically, he used his hand to write on Naruto's spirit, the symbol of Joshi. And so he basically wrote this on there. But also wrote another seal around him. This seal is sort of Naruto's way to contact Joshi. He can get rid of the, mar uh, the seal and all that Naruto can. But this is one way for Joshin to actually contact his descendants to tell them about his abilities. Now, yes, he's gonna be able to um, do a lot of things. Now, Naruto is back into his into the uh, hospital into his mindscape, and of course he has a coma for so he's seven right now. Let's skip. Actually, let's go. Hmm. 
five years since he's seven and um yeah now naruto's seven years old right now and he's in his conscious uh i mean in con in a coma but he's now in his mindscape for some reason and the only thing he sees in his mindscape is absolutely nothing he's like where am i what happened Joshua went back to his realm to contact Naruto now. So, the, what's it called? Shinigami just looks at Joshua and says, fine, you whatever. And Joshua says, but, Shinigami, if my other descendants, his father, died, you know, you could torture him. I'll, I'll let you just do whatever you want to him. Experiment, whatever. Shinogami says, that is a good deal. Fine. So, basically, Naruto is just like in his mindscape. And then Joshin comes in and just says, hello there, kid. Or should I say, great descendants. Very great descendants. And uh, Naruto says, who are you? And Joshin says, my name is Joshin. Lord Joshin. Or you can just call me Joshin for short. Or Joshi. But I am your great 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 grandfather, and um, I am your great descendants of a grandfather. Now you are my descendants, very great, and also your father. But we don't want to talk about him because I see how he treated you. And Naruto says, "Who is my father?" Joshi says, "Minato Namakaze." Or Minato Namakaze Joshin, but he doesn't know about his DNA, blood, or genetics or anything. Your sister is Minato Uzumaki, your mother is Kushina Uzumaki, and if they all die, I hope the Shinigami tears through their freaking souls for torturing you. Now, Naruto is like, so. Ah, I see. Why, why did they abandon me? Now, I should mention this, that, but Naruto... So I just say that Naruto had to not been hurt at the four years old, but I forgot to mention that Naruto was in an orphan. Because, yeah, because they just kind of just threw him in there and just said, screw it, it's not our kid no more. So, Naruto says... Ah, I see. So that's why my name is Naruto Uzumaki. And he kind of felt bad. And he was like, so they just threw me there and just neglected me? But why? Why does everyone hate me? Now, Joshin explains to him that they all think you're Chinchuriki, which are not. You have no nine tails inside you. Uh, Joshin explains that what a nine tail is, is a tail be sort of a uh, People usually have to on them because whatever. But you have nothing like that. Now, kid, I want to tell you one thing. Your new name is Naruto Shine. Uh, Shinagami. I was about to say Shinagami. No, Naruto Joshin. You're from the Josh clan. Naruto Josh. Josh clan. Basically, instead of Uzumaki, Joshin clan, or whatever. However I like to call it. Joshin, Josh clan. Something like that. Now, Naruto says, really? And you are going to be the leader of my cult. Don't worry, kid. I will teach you all, everything and all the things I know about all my abilities. I'm going to train you in your mindscape. And you will actually retain all that memory into the real world since you right now are in a coma for however long you're gonna be here skip five years naruto is now just very ripped and he's kind of tall enough like um he is very tall and naruto his seal thing is still there but he just doesn't care about room movement and all that he actually wants to talk about his... He wants to talk to his grandfather and all that. And, uh, yeah. No, I'll just say, so... I am 12 right now. A grandfather. 
And Joshin said, yes, you are 12. It's been five years. But it's been fun trying it with you, kid. Fist bumps him. And Naruto does the same. He's like, thank you. So they just, they just both smile at each other. And then Naruto says, so would I ever be able to see you again? And Justin said, yeah, you can just put chakra into your uh, seal and just see me again. Or go into your mindscape and then uh, call out my name. But yeah, see you okay. Naruto wakes up and he is taller now. Now, Joshin wanted to mention something about his body. So, kid, before you go, you are Uzumak. Well, I mean, when they were training those five years, Joshin talks about you, Uzumak. You're an Uzumaki and Namikaze and Shoshin. But it seems like an Uchiha female kind of came and gave you her blood to making you a, a Shanga user. Now, the lady, if you ever kind of be able to learn how to use this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take her eyes so you won't go blind. And Naruto says, sure, I will do. So, Naruto knows about Mikoto helping her out. Help, not helping her out. Helping him out. Now, Naruto is just saying, okay. So, Naruto wakes up. And Naruto is just saying, what the hell happened to me? Now, the whole daughters, villagers, and even Minato and Kushina and everyone in the whole village forgot about Naruto. And the whole demon thing, blah, blah, blah. So, Naruto wakes up, and he just looks around the village and sees what the fuck just happened. Alright, I forgot my, fa my grandfather, my great-grandfather. He wakes up, gets up. And then he, uh, nurse kind of went in there and checked out on him and he said, Oh, hello there. Um, you are Naruto Uzumaki? Naruto says, my name is Naruto Joshin. And, um, Naruto Joshin, okay, so you want me to change your name or what? Naruto says, please do. So, of course, the nurse just script that down and then send it to someone be like change this kid's name or whatever and Naruto's pretty tough for being a 12 year old and she says okay um it seems that you got muscular also at the same time when you're in a coma you will be let out in a couple I guess hour so the doctor checks on him just like you're good get out uh so they don't really tell him any bills or anything because really they can't charge a dead person. Now Naruto wanted to go thank the Uchiha, Mikoto Uchiha. But when he was going to the Uchiha compound, the only person he found was an emo boy named Sasuke Uchiha. Now Naruto, when he got in there and Sasuke was like, who's there and why the hell are you here? Because he's emo as hell, whatever. Now, Naruto says, oh, I'm just here to thank Mikoto Uchiha for uh, saving my life since I was in a coma for five years. So, where is she? Sasuke says, my mother? Why would she save you? Why? Well, she'll always been nice. Well, Naruto says, uh, not Naruto, uh, Sasuke says, well, she kind of died. And Naruto kind of just shocked. He's like, what What do you mean? Flaring up his Sharingan. It's like, his 3 to 1 Sharingan. It's like, what do you mean she died? No, she can't be dead. The, I asked the doctors and they didn't say anything. They just said, yeah, Mikoto Uchiha. Huh? And um, Sasuke says, wait, why do you have a Sharingan? Naruto says, who did that to her? And Sasuke says, my brother did it. It seems like he had killed the whole clan. And for some reason, Sasuke just feels natural just talking to him. And Sasuke says, so what is your name? Naruto says, my name is Naruto Justin. And Sasuke was like, weird name, last name, but sure. So... They talk for a little bit, and Naruto is sad, and he's angry. It's like, when does she die? 
Sasuke stays about three three years ago. Since they are no wait, not three years ago. Hey, no 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 no. Four years ago. Her name uh it was during the whole Ichiha just slaughter. Now Naruto is just saying to Emmett. I guess I won't be able to thank her. And then Naruto says, but wait, what about her body? Where is she? And Sasuke says, over there, why? And Naruto, he kind of, kind of just went outside, got some flowers because he just paid for it for no reason. Uh, I mean, for a reason. He got flowers and says, well, to give her my respects, at least. And Sasuke does show him the way and all that. And Naruto says, put the flowers next to her body and all that. And then he asks, who is the man over there? And then, what's called, Sasuke says, that is my father, Fugaku Uchiha. The leader of the Uchihas. And then Naruto says, so wait, he's also an Uchiha? And Sasuke says, yeah, why? And you're an Uchiha, right? Uchiha, right? And Sasuke say, "Yeah, I'm, I'm an elite Uchiha." And then Naruto just looks at him and says, "Okay." Um. Do you realize that if you take his eyes, I think. Wait. Well, kind of did get a little bit of memories of Mikado Uchiha since she shared some of her blood with me, which was a lie. But his father, I mean, not father, um. Joshin, his great descendant's uh, grandfather, Joshin told about how Mikado Uchiha and about her husband having a manikyun Sharingan. And Naruto says about Mikado Uchiha memories about your father having a manikyun Sharingan. And then Sasuke was like, what is that? Naruto say, I have no clue, but the only thing I kind of get from it is a level beyond the three to my Sharingan. And then Sasuke was like, so that's good, right? Naruto said, yeah, if you switch your eyes with it, you won't go blind if you unlock the MS. And then you won't go blind with a roll-up tip. I wonder if Mikado Uchiha's eyes will help me from not going blind if I unlock my MS. And then Sasuke was like, worth a try, but I don't know. So Sasuke, he was like, so wait, if my father has MS, can I? And Naruto says, have you unlocked your Sharingan or what? Sasuke said no, because I've been training and all that. And Naruto says, wait, do you experience trauma when you were fighting against your other brother or not? Or did you not get to that? Did you pass out? Sasuke says, I don't want to talk about it, but sort of. Naruto says, maybe just put chakra to your eyes. So Sasuke does that and he has a one tomoe and a two tomoe on the other thing. Naruto says, you have it incomplete. I mean... There's a good chance you can have it. And they actually trained for a couple of minutes and Sasuke managed to get a full mature Sharingan. Now, why am I doing this when Naruto is basically a descendant from Joshin and not in Ashura's reincarnation? Because Mento is the reincarnation of Ash Ashura. Sasuke is the reincarnation in the now, Joshin did tell him about how the reincarnations are both this person and that person, but really didn't tell him about the names. But only told about Makoto being, uh, not Makoto, Mento being the reincarnation of Ashra and Chiha being the reincarnation Indra. Now, Naruto says, hmm. Now we're just gonna train on how to get your MS. And Sasuke said, hmm, hmm, I have no clue. And then Naruto thought about it. Because this isn't, it's sort of like a week before they do the whole academy test and all that. 
And Naruto thought about it. It was like, wait, Sasuke, cut yourself a little bit. And then Nar Sasuke says, why? Just do it. Naruto looks at the blood, sort of makes a line of, well, I mean, the whole circle of Josh cuts the whole, this, I keep forgetting what it's called, and, uh, so, uh, what's it called, Naruto goes, sort of, no, wait, no, 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 not that, instead, Naruto just says, hmm, he goes into his mindscape, and he asks for, uh, Joshin, Joshin said, yeah, kid. Naruto says, so wait, how many people do I have to do before I can go sort of immortal a little bit? Joshin says, by people, why? And Naruto says, bet. And Naruto says, wait here, Sasuke. And <clears throat> I didn't want to mention that. I mean, he went, he found like five people. It was a bunch of villagers, killed them all and said, still saw your sacrifice. And Josh says, sure, why not? Naruto ran back and says, okay, Sasuke, stab me or you're attacked. And Sasuke was like, wait, what? Just do it. Okay, what do you want me to stab you with? Uh, just hit me in the head. And Sasuke was, thought he was joking. So, of course, he threw it. Of course, it wasn't going to hit Naruto. But Naruto just went, yeet, hit him in the head. And Sasuke was like, what are you? No, he unlocked the MS, and Naruto got up and said, pull that knife out, and he said, okay, I'm fine, and it healed, and uh, Sasuke was like, hold up, what the fuck you mean, you were just, weren't you just dead, what, what the fuck just happened, Naruto said, I made you have trauma about killing your best friend, I mean, sort of best friend, probably only friends, but something you like, Enough for you to stab it and gain power. Now you have an MS. And Sasuke said, I do? What the hell? But wait, that doesn't excuse. How the fuck are you alive? Naruto says, well, my clan, Joshin, is sort of give me an ability sort of to immortality. Sort of. And Sasuke didn't get it much. But Naruto says, you don't need to get it, but I'll explain it to you later. And of course, never explain, but Sasuke says, so I have the MS. Now Naruto says, quick, get to your father. And Sasuke was like, wait, what? So you won't go blind over using your MS. And so they basically go in, grab Fukako's eyes, puts it into Sasuke, and Sasuke says, so after just this much pain, what do I do? Naruto says, I think we just have to wait. So, of course, Naruto also put his eyes with Makoto's Uchiha's eyes. Which, he didn't have the MS, but he unlocked it, but it will go to internal instead. And when Sasuke opened his eyes, it's a... It's just an internal Sharingan mixed with Fukasuko Sharingan, sort of. It's a fusion. So that's why I look like that. <clears throat> so of course, Naruto is just like, okay, um, Sasuke, how do you feel? Sasuke said, I have an internal, and um, you only have your shark on. How would this work? Naruto says, it doesn't need to work, but at least you have your internal. Besides, I'm just. I guess a part of the Uchiha, sort of, since Mikado shares some blood with me, maybe, and then Sasuke says, so what are you fully, Uchiha, uh, Joshin, Uzumaki, and the last thing I forgot, <coughs> and uh, Sasuke says, Uzumaki's a clan? I think so. It's just there. It's a full chunk. It's, I think Uzumaki's were a clan that had a large amount of chakra. So I said, hmm, interesting. And uh, Naruto's hair kind of just went white. When the whole stab and all that, he's in a coma. Yeah, his hair is white. It's not, it's grayish white. It's similar to uh, 
Joshin's hair. Sort of like this. So yeah, Naruto just has that. And that's why Sasuke really can't tell if this is Naruto or not. Naruto is a monkey. Well, then the next day, because it was a week past, and now it's the next day to do the Academy. But that'll be until next episode. Whenever I do it. But yeah, have a nice potato day and potato night. Potato sleep. Bye-bye.